this. Look at it. My my new my latest invention coming all the way here from Mawson Road. What we want to do is get a spoonful, a generous portion, and then uh, apply it gently on top. This is my left hand skills coming into practice. Picking out guys, look at this. I uh, churned up the onions in the food blender and then I applied that with some bonnet sauce and corn mint. Uh, with that, I've been baked nachos with chips and cheese. Beat that, Born and Andy. Well, I'll be starting very soon. I just wanted to show you that, my friends, is a nacho Oreo. Best to see it now before it gets global, alright? This is when it started. In this room, in this very room, here, this is where the nacho sandwich started. I mean, it could be a massive success, it could, couldn't be. I, I don't know, it, it's, it's going to be a phenomenon. And it's going to take off. I'm, I am going to let it be in charge of itself. It's going to have its own wings and fly away. So, uh, literally, I, I don't care whatsoever. Friends, I mean, if someone buys it out for a million quid, all right, I'll, I'll get that. I'll take that million quid. I'll invest it into something nice, like a, like a, like a. Anyway, I'll just finish this and then I'll get started. Okay. <coughs> I know I've done at least ninety vlogs by now, but I still get nervous every time I get on camera. I keep, I keep telling myself really quickly in my head, just don't do it. Don't say the next thing. Say the next thing. Um. So. <laughs> uh, I apologise for the state of my room. I currently got the heater in here today because um, why not? Only problem is it doesn't seem to be functioning properly. It's only dry in certain areas. Why? Ah. Oh no! 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 I stick the camera on my I. It's just been a really great week. Uh, the current brief at this present moment in time is working out okay. They are still drafts and thumbnails because at the moment the Old King seem to be a very difficult narrative. Um, an easy, easy one for a graphic novel per se, but um, with a narrative I need to have some way of communicating a metaphor for, for more images. Um, and something that would sort of give it, give it a recurring theme. There's no other way around it, you have to use that as a connector. Uh, but anyway, maybe another day I'll show you the sketch bit because at the moment it's looking fairly thin. Oh right, so Thursday was fireworks night. Oh wow, I've got to say, amazing. <laughs> So quiet. <laughs> oh, I expect to see. considerably long time. It went on for about 15 minutes. I mean, how much money was put into that? I mean, I know it was a, it was a free event, but gosh, give it a break. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they were fun. So yeah, the weekend, I went home because there was a surprise party awaiting for someone, Joe Rolf, um, who had lived in Uganda for two years. And then he just came back on the Wednesday. Like, yeah, pretty fun to see him and Co. A few faces that I used to know um, and still know. Organ in the hood. Uh, yeah, helped out at a lunch thing on Sunday, and then I headed back to St Barnabas in the evening, and then we went to the pub after that. So I've been pubbing. I feel like all week, actually, all the leaves have gone due to the horrendous weather. Autumn's gone now. Winter's upon us. Winter is coming. 
and you know what's coming with it. <laughs> yes, dissertation. I'm closing in on eight. 100 words, 900 words, um, because uh, today I actually cut down on a few sections which I intended to leave out. It's a real struggle. James is doing really well. He's on almost on 3,000 words. Keep going, my lad. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Yeah, he, he can hear me. He knows. I'm not sure when I'm going to be seeing that Chris Owen again. Maybe next week. Not this week. Definitely not this Friday. Terrible idea. Um, the wisdom teeth have healed. They've all, like, well, I don't have them anymore. The wisdom teeth gums have healed. The food is still getting trapped inside. And every now and then I have to swish around salt water and try and get out uh, food that was two, three days old. Yeah, it's pretty grotesque. But that's what you got to do, isn't it? Luckily, no infections. Oh! Luckily, no infections. I really, I get scared about that kind of thing. On Friday, there was some really exciting news, um, personally for me. There was a new song that came out. This closed, okay? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reveal any more about it, other than the fact that it's quite disco-y. Great, it's a great hit, it's a good number. And the fact that in a month's time, an even bigger thing is gonna be coming out. Uh, obviously because they're the biggest act in the world, uh, they get a lot of hate and a lot of love. But um, I don't care anymore, you know? A fan's gotta be a fan. A fan has gotta do his duty. Well I mean, you're probably wondering what am I talking about? That's good. I want to keep that confusion. Leave it lingering in the air. Quickly go through a few other things. Like, I might be... Oh, not again. Uh, yeah, um, so today was a pretty unusual day because I headed into the studio 10 a.m. and um, Sarah was in, uh, scanning the stuff, and then she left. And then Ollie came in. <sighs> what a load. But then, yeah, <laughs> he was good. Brought up him, Dan. Um, and then Jim brought all the second years in for his crits. They were doing their located narrative brief and they have it really bad. What unlucky songs. That was pretty distracting, but oh well. Uh, my plans for the week will be plenty of study for the dissertation, um, a few more pages in the brief, possible start on some independent work that I might do um, before Christmas. I think that's it. Oh yeah, and portfolio research. But yeah, anyway. Um, this has been Jeremy, um, thank you for listening, uh, I'm going to tap out now, I uh, hope to see you all uh, in some time in the future.